County Humane Society board says he'll offer to resign his seat tonight for the way he handled the firing of that employee. But he told LA State Team's Kristen Plum he stands behind his decision. And she's here with his side of the story. Beth Wallace told me that she worked for the shelter for eight months. So what did she do that was so wrong to be put out just weeks under the new manager? Or was it a termination out of necessity after a car wreck left her badly injured? The night of July 4th, there was only one worry on 19-year-old Beth Wallace's mind while she waited for firefighters to cut her out of this mangled mess. I honestly and truly thought that the roof was going to go through my chest. She survived, but broke several bones and has been laid up at home ever since. And to think the real battle was just beginning when her boss paid a visit last Friday. I said, well, how long do I have? And he looked at me and said, honestly, we can't hold your position another day. So he pretty much fired me on that spot. The shelter's board president says that is, in fact, how it was handled. A, quote, misguided attempt at kindness, end quote. Sam Marcus says that he deeply regrets. I realize that the manner in which I handled this was an error in judgment. I've apologized to Ms. Wallace and explained to her the real story behind her termination. The real reasons, Marcus said, are performance-based, though he wouldn't elaborate. But we would do it privately, and I won't do that in public. We had discussions before the accident. Nancy had made her decision, um, but unfortunately the timing uh, was terrible. But Beth isn't buying it. She worked under former manager Angie Stewart for months, who told me over the phone that the 19-year-old often went well beyond her job expectations. Beth says the new director, Nancy Benton, also paid her compliments often, which makes her firing even more puzzling. I don't have a job now. I can't find a job because I can't go to an interview like this. Who's going to want to hire me? Marcus said the shelter will pay Beth for any remaining vacation or sick days she had. Kevin? Well, Wallace said not once had she been reprimanded by the new shelter manager prior to her termination, which again was, quote, performance-based.